Hi, second graders. We are here with our Tuesday writing. No, nope, reading. It says reading. Reading, reading video. <laughs> we are still talking about our story from yesterday, Lighting Lives, where we learned about how Debbie <clears throat> grew up um, in Arizona, where there's a lot of sun, um, but she grew up in a home that didn't have any electricity. And then she got it later on in life and discovered what a luxury and joy it is. Mm -hmm. I love having electricity. Oh, me too. What do you think is your favorite part about electricity? <laughs> well, there's uh, so many things. So many. Probably my coffee pot. Your coffee pot? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Because I don't know how I yeah. make it. I really like having lights. I It's really I, nice to see at night. It's yeah. kind of scary if you don't have lights. And I feel like I would... You would burn through so many candles. You would if you didn't have electricity. And I like heat in my. I home. like heat. I use electric and I like, heat. I like air conditioning in this in the summertime. I like cooking. I like food cooking for my family. Not over a fire. No, because right? I can. I'm not allowed to have a fire in my mm -hmm. house, so I don't know what I. Would I do. also like Netflix. I like Netflix too, and my computer. Yep. How would we zoom we with our wouldn't. class? We wouldn't be able to charge anything or make these videos. Yes, YouTube wouldn't yes. exist. So hmm. we know how Debbie feels. It is, it genuinely is a luxury and a privilege that we live in a place where we have electricity. Absolutely. And that isn't something that most of us have to worry about. Mm -mm. So Debbie discovered the joy of that and wanted to spread that joy to people who grew up like her and didn't have electricity. And that's what we're gonna be talking about. What was the author's purpose in writing this story about Debbie and her becoming somebody who installs solar panels on people's houses. Why did they decide to tell that? Was the purpose to entertain us? Was the purpose to persuade us or convince us to start putting solar panels on all of our friends' houses? Was it to inform us or teach us about Debbie and her life and what she ended up doing and why she did it? Hmm. So we're gonna go through this and decide awesome. um, what we think the author's purpose was. So let's start with our first clue. And um, I kind of mentioned it when we were recapping the story that um, Debbie did not grow up with electricity. And that is the catalyst. That is the thing that turned her on to what her eventual job would be. If she grew up with electricity, she probably wouldn't have that job today. Probably not. So that's very important. Debbie, you guys can copy this down. Grew up without... electricity okay now we aren't gonna write this down because we want you to listen and then write down what we're talking about but let's discuss something that happened because of her not having electricity what sure. could they put there well I remember that she wanted to start helping people in her community who also didn't have electricity yes so she ends up figuring out more information about solar panels and she finds that that's such a great way for people to get electricity from the sun since she lives in such a sunny area mm -hmm. um, that she starts this business mm -hmm. putting solar panels on people's homes. Yeah. So literally anything that Miss Marquardt just <laughs> said you can use that she ends up putting solar panels mm -hmm. on people's houses that she wants everybody to grow up with electricity, that she wants to spread the joy of electricity to her community. Any of those things yeah. would be great for you guys to put as your second clue. Or if you wanna put something that we didn't mention at all, that's totally up to you. And let's talk about author's purpose. Mm. What do we feel like the author was intending using these clues? Well, I remember you going over the different types of purposes that authors have. So we have our PI, uh -huh. so P-I-E. So we have P for persuade, uh -huh. which means to try and convince us to do something. Uh -huh. We have I, which is to inform, just to give us information about a person or a time in history or, or an event. And then we have E, which is to entertain. When I think of entertain, I think of like a dog man book. Yeah. Because it's just for fun. I'm not really reading it for a purpose to learn anything. I'm just enjoying an it. An exciting adventure. Yes. And although this is very important, I didn't feel like it was an exciting adventure that I wanted to come back and see where the main character goes next mm -hmm. and what problem and solution they solve. Me either. So and I, I might not choose that one. Let's talk about persuade uh -huh. because she is helping her community, which is a really good thing to do. Mm -hmm. 
but it didn't sound like the author was telling us that we should go out and everyone should get solar panels and do this for others. You just said a really important word that mm -hmm. is a clue when somebody's trying to persuade you and that's the purpose. Mm -hmm. If they're saying, if the author uses a lot of words like you should, okay. people should, I believe you should, those are really good clues that the author's trying to persuade you. And I didn't hear that anywhere in this story. I didn't either. So let's cross that one off and let's keep going. Oh, look, there's oh. one left. <laughs> well, I guess if they're watching the video carefully, they could just write down the one that's left and they would get the right answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> good luck.